legs buckle. Like a tired horse running for safety. Drag them by the hips and move faster. You do not have the privilege to rest in a country that wants to spit you out. You have to keep going. And going. And going. Until you reach the water. Hand over everything in your name for a ticket onto the boat. Next to a hundred others like you. Packed like sardines. You tell the woman beside you, this boat is not strong enough to carry this much sorrow to a shore. What does it matter, she says, if drowning is easier than staying? How many people has this water drunk up? Is it all one long cemetery? Bodies buried without a country. Perhaps the sea is your country. Perhaps the boat sinks because it is the only place that will take you.